हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द बुक एंड नोट्स दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ क्लास इलेवेंथ फिजिक्स कैनेमेटिक्स चैप्टर थ्री हेयर टू डी प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ग्राफ्स हैंड रिटर्न नोट्स विल बी देयर एंड इन टू डी प्रॉब्लम सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर देयर यू मस्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व योर सेल्फ अदरवाइज आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द एंसर सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ एस इज इक्वल टू थ्री टी आई कैप प्लस फोर टी जे कैप फाइंड वेलोसिटी एट टी इज इक्वल टू वन सेकेंड स्पीड एट टी इज इक्वल टू वन सेकेंड एक्सेलरेशन एट टी इज इक्वल टू टू के टू सेकेंड यू मस्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व यूर ऑन अदरवाइज एंसर इज हेयर यू कैन टेक स्क्रीन शॉट नाउ लेट एस कम टू द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इफ एस एस इज इक्वल्स टू टी स्क्वायर आई कैप प्लस थ्री टी माइनस वन जे कैप फाइंड वेलोसिटी स्पीड एक्सेलरेशन एट टी इज इक्वल टू वन सेकेंड इट इज अगेन अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन यू हैव इफ यू हैव सीन द वीडियोज देन यू कैन इजिली सॉल्व इट हेयर आर द एंसर्स Now let us come to the next question. It is about the direction of the motion. Now the question is: If s is equal to t cube minus 60 square plus 90, find the velocity at t is equal to 2 second and acceleration at t is equal to 3 second. Here in this question, you will have to first differentiate distance, then you will get the velocity where you will put the value of time. then to find acceleration you will have again to differentiate the value of velocity and put the value of time then you will get the answer now let us come to the another question find the time when the body is at rest s is equal to t cube minus 60 square plus 90 since the body is at rest the velocity will be zero and you have to differentiate the distance then you will get the value of velocity when you will get the value of velocity you will have to equate it with zero then you will get the answers you can take the screenshot of the solution now let us come to another next question find the time when body is moving in negative direction it is very simple question you must try to do yourself here answer is given now let us come to the next topic displacement in nth second the question is if s is equal to t square minus 4 find the displacement at third and fourth second the solution is here is it In class 11, you have to learn some basic of the integration, and some of the basic formula is integration of x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus one by n plus one plus c. In integration, you have to add plus c also. It represents the constant term. Now the another formula is x to integration of x to the power minus one to dx, or integration of one by x dx is equals to log e mod of x plus c. Another formula is integration of e to the power x dx is equal to e to the power x plus c. Next formula, integration of dx or integration of x to the power zero dx is equal to x plus c. Integration of two x to the power two dx is equal to two integration x square dx is equal to two x to the power three by three plus c. And the final answer is two x cube by three plus c. The last formula is integration of 3 dx is equal to 3x plus c. Multiplication of integration is here. Integration of u v dx is equal to u outside. Integration of v dx minus integration of du by dx. Integration of v dx dx. Now let us come to the equations of motion. You have studied in class nine the equation of motion and the three formula related to it. We will solve it by differentiation. C V is equal to u plus a t, and the solution is here.
now let us come to the second equation s is equal to ut plus half at square here the proof of this equation is given here last formula is here b square is equal to u square plus 2as and the proof of this formula is given here Now the graph problems. This is question number one. You have to find the velocity in OA, AB, and BC. Now the second question. You have to find the velocity in regions of OA, AB, and BC. Now the third question, which one is similar to this diagram, A, B, C or D, the solution is here. Option D is correct. Another question, what does the graph represent? Let us zoom the graph. The answer is here. Here one note is given when the slope is like this then the velocity is positive and when the slope is like this then the velocity is negative this is for note now shortcut when the graph of speed versus time is u-shaped then the acceleration will be positive while when the graph of speed versus time is inverted u-shaped then the acceleration will be negative and one more point if b and a will have same sign then speed will increase and if b and a will have opposite sign then speed will decrease in this question we have to determine from the graph that whether the speed is increasing or decreasing and the answer is decreasing now another question the solution is that the speed is increasing in the negative direction now one more question related to graph which graph is similar to this let us zoom the person and you have to find which option is correct by the way option C is correct here Now next question, which one is same as this graph? Which option is correct? Answer to this question is here. Now next question, how many times velocity is zero? Find the acceleration and displacement of the graph. The answer is here. Find the distance and displacement. You have to find the distance and displacement, which is quite easy. Draw the corresponding ST graph of the following. You have to draw the graph corresponding to it and the answer is this graph.